Hello and welcome to the WordPress theme projects course by Eduonix. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor for this course. So in this course we're going to be building 10 WordPress themes from start to finish. We're going to be looking at all of the fundamental knowledge that is needed to start building great WordPress themes. So there's 10 projects or sections and there's six to ten lectures per section and then we have anywhere between one and three videos per lecture there will also be one section quiz that will have uh, up to five or six questions so what you should know before taking this course you should definitely have experience with html and css uh, preferably html5 you should know some php at least the basics um, we're not going to get into really in-depth PHP coding, but you should definitely know the basics. WordPress, although you don't need to know how to build WordPress themes or plugins, you should have a general idea of, of what WordPress is, how to install it, and how to, I guess, manage a WordPress website. And then programming fundamentals, things like arrays, variables, loops, if statements, um, th things that are, are found across a wide range of programming languages. So here is a, a list of the technologies and concepts that we'll be looking at through this course. This isn't all of them, but this is these are most of the, the, the common ones. Obviously, HTML, CSS, and PHP are extremely important. Um, that's what everything is based around. We have WordPress, the WordPress post loop, which is the main loop that grabs the post from the database, hooks and actions, a functions PHP file where that's where we put our dynamic code for uh, for a WordPress theme widgets um, WP query which is used to make custom queries so if you want to uh, get queries by category or by users anything like that theme customizer which is fairly new um, this is where we can actually store settings and values and um, things like that for particular themes so we're also going to use a, a range of frameworks of front-end CSS frameworks such as Bootstrap, Foundation, Inc. We're also going to use Gridism, which is a really lightweight grid-based uh, fra framework, and then W3 CSS, which is a, a fairly new front-end framework. So here's an overview of the projects. We have the simple theme. This is going to be an introductory theme. We're not really going to focus on design here. It's going to be more on the actual syntax and that the files that need to be created, things like that. The advanced theme will go a little more in depth, um, adding things like archived and search pages, uh, things like that. Then we'll build a photo gallery theme. We're going to use the W3 CSS framework and also include some simple animation. Wordstrap is going to be our first Twitter bootstrap theme. Um, we're going to implement that. We're also going to use something called the, um, the WP Nav Walker, which is a class we can use to have drop down menus in WordPress. We'll be building an e-commerce theme using the foundation framework, which is similar to bootstrap. Um, the business theme, this will rely heavily on the theme customizer API. We'll also use Font Awesome for icons and make it look really nice. Clean Cut is another bootstrap theme. We're also going to use animate.css with that. And we'll also use the theme customizer quite a bit. WP News is going to be a, a, a news-based theme on the Ink framework. And we're going to use sliders and some JavaScript widgets in that as well. Four Corners is going to be a, a really simple, elegant theme based on foundation. We're also going to use a library called hover.css, which gives us some nice animation when we hover over elements. And then finally, we'll build the Dynamo theme, which is going to use Gridism. It's going to use Unslider, which is a jQuery slideshow component, jQuery tabs. And we're also going to make it so we can customize the color and we can set a light and a dark preset for the theme. All right, so we have a lot of information packed into this, into this course. Um, hopefully you guys like it, and I'll see you in the first project.